Hey everybody, Mike here at Image Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. Alright, well today we're going to do a short animation video, and we're going to work with the graph editor. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, it's a subscriber request, and the question that I received was, uh, how can you create a continuous loop? Okay, now the best way to illustrate that is to create a sphere, or a ball, and we're going to have that ball rotate around. Okay, so I'm just going to take a polygon sphere. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in, right click, go to face, and I'm just going to select one of these rows here and right click, assign the material Lambert, and change the color. Okay. And obviously, the purpose for that is that you can see how it's rotating. Okay. Now, normally, if I wanted this to rotate, I would right click, go to object mode, make sure it's selected, make sure I'm on frame one, hit S to keyframe it. And then I would drag select and go to, let's say, frame 30. And I would hit E on my object. I would rotate that to, let's say, 360 degrees. I would right click and go to set key. So now you have a key here and a key there. Okay. We're going to go back to frame one. We're going to hit play and let's see what we got. Now, the problem that you run into is that once you set up an animation like that, the speed kind of builds up and, you know, dials down as you move forward. So it's not linear, okay? So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Windows, we're going to go to animated, Animation Editors, and we're going to go to the Graph Editor, okay? And here you have your animation or your motion, if you will, okay? So we're going to left click and drag that, all right? And then up here you have the symbol and the option to go to linear tangent, okay? Let's select that, and now it becomes a straight line. Let's minimize that. We're going to go back to our frame one. Let's hit play, and now you have an equal speed. Problem is, though, it's not going round and round and round, right? And that's what we wanted, okay? So again, we're going to go back to Windows. We're going to go back to our graph editor. And we've got that selected. We're going to go up to uh, Curves. And we're going to go to Post Infinity. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a cycle. But we're going to set up a cycle with an offset. Reason being that our normal cycle is 360 degrees. And we want this to continue to rotate even if it's not exactly set to 360 okay so let's select that we're going to minimize that and let's hit play and see what we get well guys there you go there's your rotation so that's all there's to it guys so if you got any questions let me know and that said thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye